Hey! Hi everyone, Brian Grief, Director of Education for C1 Concept North America. Welcome to our Facebook Live featuring Milkshake Smoothies Ammonia Free Semi Permanent Demi Permanent Color. But before we get going, we have a special guest in the house. I'm sure you can see some of you might recognize. But let's give a great welcome all the way from Massachusetts, the fabulous Kelly Lee. Thank you, hey, Brian. Kelly. Hi, Milkshake Lovers. I am so happy and so excited to be here with you today. And I can't wait to share with you some fun formulas and tips and tricks all about toning with smoothies. Wow. And I'm sure everybody wants to know all those little tricks, especially from uh, one of our specialists here on her uh, Instagram, always with those fabulous Thank pictures. <laughs> so we have another marvelous model who often films her Facebook Lives. And guess what? She's on the other side and she's all nervous and weird. So welcome to the other. Cara Lee. There's all the Caras and the Kellys. Yep. So let's pass it over to Kelly. Can you quickly explain what you did to get some preparation work for the formula? And I'll start mixing your color. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Brian. Absolutely. Okay. So how we prepped Cara Lee was we did a baby leg technique, but we did the baby legs back to back up in this front area to create that money piece and that nice brightness around the face that everyone's wanting lately. We use the blue lightening powder. So when I do a technique and someone with long hair and the amount of hair that Kara Lee has, I always start with a lower volume emulsion and work my way up as I go. With Kara, we started with a 20 volume emulsion and then as I continued, we moved to a 30. Okay, can you just quickly remind me of your formula again? Yes, of course. So, peach. so we have 22 grams of peach from the pastels. Okay, smoothies so pastels, smoothies pastels, 22 grams going in. Thank you, Cara. Because she's got this, uh, Kelly's got this formula in her head, but she didn't really totally share it with me. She's just trying to <laughs> throw me under the bus, I can tell. Anyway, so that's the peach from Pastels, yeah? Yes, and then we have 18 grams of the pink grapefruit. And 18 grams of pink grapefruit going Sounds in. Sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. So 18 and... 10 grams of And 22, it makes 40. Yeah. There we go. So that's the... Pink grapefruit in, and then 10 finally. 10 grams of powder to equal 50 grams of color. 10 grams of powder, in it goes. Okay, so can you uh, take down that top piece and just let yes, people absolutely. know what's been going on? So while Brian is going to mix up her end glaze, I just wanna talk a little bit about the blend glaze that we use on Kara. Kara Lee, since we have two Karas today. <laughs> Kara's natural color is very light and very beautiful, but because it is light, we decided to go, to go in with the light activating emulsion just because I didn't want to cause any shifting in her natural color because the light activating emulsion is equivalent to a 3.5 volume, okay? The formula that we used was 15 grams of the 813 beige, 10 grams of the 81 from the Ash series, and then we equaled it with... 10 grams of powder. Okay, cool. So I've mixed up the formula for Kelly. So awesome. we ended up with 50 grams of color, which is perfect, which then it's a one to one and a half ratio with the light activating emotion. So we put 75 grams of the activating emotion. So I'm just about to start mixing that now. So we always recommend using a whisk because you get a really creamy finish with the color. So I'm going to stop at this point because we're going to add some deep color complex. Now for every 50 grams of color, we add three grams of the deep color complex, which really creates a very, very silky texture to the, the color, also protects and elongates the time that the, the color will last in the hair. So it's uh, one of those really go-to products and we'll continue to mix. And you can see by using the whisk that you get a very, very creamy, silky texture, which is going to be awesome for Kelly to apply. And see how quick and easy that was. And of course, smoothies being smoothies, we have a sensorial experience because all the smoothies have individual fragrances and you get really, a lot of them are fruit-based, so if it's strawberries or blueberries, papaya, wow, it goes on and on, milk, honey. So you can imagine it's a great sensorial experience for your clients or your guests. So there we are, Kelly, we're all set. Yes, we are. We are all set to start applying. One thing that I also wanted to point out is 
While doing Kara's hair, it actually brought up some real life experience that may happen with you in the salon. When we were lifting her up, she had a band of where her natural regrowth was coming in. And this other peachy tone and peachy color that you're seeing going on was from previous pink that she had that had faded out. And that's okay. What you need to keep in mind and remember is that as long as where you are during the process, if it's not beautiful, that's okay. As long as when you know that once you get to the end, it's going to be an awesome and beautiful color. Okay, and so... So remember the end. Again, and in preparation, uh, we've, we've already uh, shampooed Cara's hair with the cleansing shampoo, which is always recommended after any lightening service, helps to remove any residue, any free radicals in the hair, so it gets a very clean palette. But because this top section was uh, left a little dry so you could really see what was prepared, we're going to apply Color Specifics uh, Pro Color Equalizer, which equalizes out the porosity on the hair, especially as it gets longer towards the ends. The porosity is always a little bit stronger here. So I'll have uh, Kelly Thank apply you. that. There yes, we are. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Yes, coach. I love being an assistant. This is awesome. This awesome. I like it too. Right. <laughs> Good. It does. It smells awesome. Everything in milkshake smells awesome. Okay, and if you're not aware of the color specifics range, uh, there's shampoo, uh, conditioner, there's also what we call the acid color sealer, which is the real magic potion, which helps to lock the color in. Uh, we'll be using that on uh, Carolee's hair once it's processed. So this is all part of the system that's working yes. with smoothies, also with creative, also with no inhibition, multicolor, and when we work with our Decologic Lightning system. So there you are, that's, we've got the full color service that we can offer. Uh, so, Kelly, here we go. We're off, off to the races, as they say. Yes. We so do have a clarification question. Clarification question. Yes, it, they asked, did you tone her to a neutral first and now you're toning again with a peach pink formula? So they might have missed the smudge root portion. Okay, so, so we did do a smudge root, which I like to call a blend glaze. So we went in again with the 81381 in powder. However, the blonde that you're seeing, we did not pre-tone that. Because the pink and the peach, we want a warmer color. I did not. However, if you do want to get a cooler, color for <coughs> your end result, then I would recommend to pre-tone. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yes. Gloves. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go. I'll hold your sections for you. Thank you. That would help. Otherwise. So why don't, Kelly, why don't you share with everybody just, uh, you know, what, what are the key elements that you love about smoothies? Because I'm sure everybody's interested yes. to know. What I love about smoothies, especially with this technique, is smoothies has a huge range of tones and levels, everything from one to our specials, which don't have a level at all. Okay. So they're really great for toning your blondes, but also sometimes when you're lifting, you're not lifting to a level nine or a level 10. Sometimes you have some eight and some seven. So smoothies is an awesome tool to create a nice, cool, beige, warm result. Anything that you want or desire, you can achieve with smoothies. Push your trolley away. Yes. There we are. I'm just gonna turn around slightly so you can see the application, see how uh, how easy the, the, the color glides onto the hair, especially with the deep color complex. It makes the color very, very silky. Uh, really, really easy to apply. Silky is the perfect yeah. explanation for how the color and feels. I'm sure once you're probably going to want this as well. Yes, please. So we do Thank recommend uh, combing the color through to get an even spread. And even though we did a smudge root on the top, it is okay for the color to touch where we had already previously toned. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Try not to get your hands all messy. We're good. <laughs> Maybe we'll move her chair just a little bit. This coach always says work smarter, not harder, right? There you go. There you go. Just trying so we can see the application. Yes. Great. So as this application is going on, uh, we're looking to get, as Kelly said, it's a sort of warmer finish, and then uh, later in the presentation, we have a cooler finish to share with you as well, which is uh, very exciting. So we're giving you both kind of options, how we can uh, recolor the hair using smoothies. Mm -hmm. We use the term toning, but we're really recoloring uh, as such. Because we get that question, is, is smoothies uh, a toner? Uh, we can use it for toning purposes, but technically you're, you're recoloring the hair. Okay. Thank you. Another little clarification yes. there, mm -hmm. I would think. Okay, spin around a little more again. Thank you. Just so that the, the filming can be good. We're looking to get this application in so that we can process uh, Cara's color. We'll process the, this for 20 minutes because uh, that's the, the, the main bulk of the color comes from the uh, 
pastel range with the, the light activating emulsion, 3.5 volume, and 20 minutes is sufficient as the processing time. So it's quite rapid and it will help to um, get her ready. And then what's gonna happen, we're going to prepare uh, one panel of the hair on the side to show you so that you can see part of the finished result. Yes. Uh, and then we'll finish the hair completely uh, off filming and then we'll take some still shots so that you can see. Check back into Milkshake North America see and you will, uh, you'll you'll <laughs> see the finished result. But we wanna let you see at least one panel of the color. And I wanted to do a warm and a cool color because not every client looks awesome in a cooler tone and you have to go with your client's skin tone and also not everybody likes the cooler tones. So it's nice to see a range, a little bit something cool, something warm, something for every client and you can achieve all of that. And I think what's, what's also really important, uh, okay, I'll let you carry on from okay, there. Okay, thank yeah? you. Manage all right now? <laughs> yes, I can, front. thank you. What's also okay. important is that sometimes it's good to really put your creative head on because we have uh, a wonderful selection of colors, especially in the pastels. We have six marvelous colors to use, but they're all intermixable also. And you can see that uh, right now, uh, Kelly's using a combination of peach and pink grapefruit, but also powder, which comes off the classic range, which I'll share with you in a second. But this was the latest addition uh, to the smoothies range. And again, they're all intermixable. You can soften them out, you can strengthen them up, you can mix them into the main uh, uh, colors as well. So let's quickly show you that. For those of you that are not so aware, there are 56 colors in total, including the pastels. So there we have a, a really, really cool selection, especially the, the ash tones were a fairly new addition because the demand in the market was for those cooler tones, which I believe Kelly has used at the regrowth area. Yes. And then as we move across, but then we get to what are called the specials, and that's where we have a lot of interest. These are the intensifiers. They're very good for really boosting color, but also for color correction. But the pearl, the powder, the silver, and the anthracite are exceptionally great options for using on blonde. So that's where we get that recoloring stroke toning, uh, but we'll say recoloring. So at the moment, there is some uh, powder also in the formula with the peach and the pink grapefruit. Now powder, underneath its underlying tone is lilac and pink. So again, very, very good for canceling out excess warmth. You can mix it with the pearl, which is termed as a neutral. And this will, those two mixed together will give you a very, very pale kind of biscuit blonde, uh, which is very, very appealing to, you know, really the core of your clients that like blonde hair. Some don't want to be completely icy. If you do, you go to silver and that will take you all the way. Very cool. Now, anthracite is very good for maybe blending on um, a male like myself. Be very, very careful with anthracite if you use it on blonde hair. I will give you a 100% guarantee it will turn green because it contains blue. It has gray and blue as its base. So we have to be very, very uh, careful with that. Okay, so, but these are the really key elements here and the silver also. Uh, you can do many, many different combinations of color and you can add them to the pastels also for all the recoloring. So you have many, many options, uh, really fantastic. And we also believe that because it's ammonia free, the color, it has a very reparative action on the hair. Hair feels amazing, almost like seals the cuticle down. And you can see on the chart here, I was talking earlier about <coughs> Uh, the different flavors that you can have uh, determining by the different families and anything in the brown um, families smells of chocolate so most of us love that one and you can see the symbols this helps us to remember uh, what the different uh, flavors are if you like so you can actually mix your color and then hand it to your client and let her mix it and then the aroma will come up and they can't believe that color doesn't smell like color so another great virtue for smoothies and it also has two other activating emulsions there's activating and there's also intense activating they, div they give you slightly different effects this is the most popularly used and then intense can give you up to one level of lift on certain levels of hair this will give you up to 50 percent coverage on gray hair and up to 75 percent coverage on gray hair so these are very useful, uh, for, especially when your clients maybe don't need to go to permanent color to, to begin their journey on the, on the color world. Okay, all right. So 
Kelly, how are you doing? How's, how's awesome. it progressing? Yeah? It's progressing. What We're else do you want done. to share with us? What's, uh, what do you see happening? Uh, what's the, what's the flavor of the color? <laughs> right now the flavor in the marketplace i always like to name my color something fun it helps i know you. you do fantastic names on your color Thank yeah you. it just Currently. helps to get yourself noticed get some attention all things like that so i know that when i tested this color i sent a picture to carol lee and i called it rose and peaches you can call it whatever you want just getting really creative not only with your color but with the names really helps to stand out and it's not only in the world of hairdressing it's also in the world of your clients because that's what we're trying to impress at the end of the I day, I think it's right? very cool to give your, uh, your colors name. So if you check out uh, Kelly, Kelly has her own uh, Instagram page, Every Main Matters. Get uh, fun with your Instagram name yep. too. Okay, yeah. let's do this while you're finishing off the application. Here are some of the key Instagram handles. Let's put them here so that you can have a little look. Uh, and Kelly is at the bottom here if you want to check out some of her fabulous work on her own page. Thank you. We're very proud of her. Mm. Okay. And also, I am a smoothies girl. You will see hashtag milkshake smoothies all over it. <laughs> all, that's why we. That's why we were delighted she could come and do this Facebook Live for us. So hope hope everybody's enjoying it so far. Give us a shout out. Give Kelly a shout. Out. Give Cara a shout. Out. Give Cara the other Cara. Cara Benson. <laughs> Two Cara. Cara Lynn. Cara Benson. <laughs> Dolly. Well, give Dolly who runs the hotline. Give her a shout out. And awesome. any questions that we don't answer for you, if you have questions, please ask us. And if we don't mention them on the video, Dolly runs our technical hotline, and she will actually be on and answering questions for you as well. Yeah, fantastic. Great shout out. Oh, getting lots of likes. Good. Thank you. And also, also in the house supporting uh, as well is Gerard Caruso, mm -hmm. our great mm -hmm. director of education, who will be hosting the next Facebook Live with the color ambassador for North America, Tammy Cox. Cox. And we'll be featuring direct color and all the fun and the, the funky stuff that can be happening with that. So watch out for that. We'll verify the date for you in a few minutes. Fantastic. The loves keep coming and we have someone watching from the UK. Hey, awesome. UK, hi UK. <laughs> Ooh, that warms my heart, there you go. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this, UK. Okay. And I also just wanted to touch base too on something that Brian had said earlier. It is so important to understand the undertones of the special series. It really helps you better understand in what case to use which special shade and really helps you with toning your blonde. So get creative with those and get comfortable with them too. Yeah. Play around. I think that's the key. Uh, like we, we spoke earlier, uh, especially with the, the specials here. Let me just bring this back into the, into the camera. Is that, you know, if you want a silver, make sure you've got your platform pre-lightened to the, the right level. But be careful because silver is really quite strong. So if you're not sure, I would recommend that you dilute it, like mix it with pearl and it will just soften the silver down slightly for you. Okay, so just be a little cautious. If you're uncertain, take a strand test at the back and, and leave it for, you know, leave it for 10, 15 minutes just to see how silver it goes and be, be very, very careful. Uh, it's a, often there's a misconception with the, the color violet. Violet in a color, as a toner will neutralize yellow, but sometimes as a color of violet, uh, it will turn the hair violet. So just be very, very careful with that. That's why these specials are great. As Kelly said earlier, they have no base. These are purely tonal and by intermixing. Now, sometimes uh, there's a great request for what you call like a smoky shadow root, yeah? you can add a very small amount of anthracite into your mix. We're talking two or three grams. That would be enough just to create that slightly shadowy feel at the root area. So can you see this great creativity with a, with a marvelous line of color? And I know Kelly is a, you know, almost like mm -hmm. the North American ambassador really of uh, smoothies. So uh, what else do you need to share with us? Well, the color is on and you can already see Turn the on. color starting to come to life a little bit. Go. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Let's, uh, let's, I'm excited. Let's spin her, <laughs> let's spin her right line. Good. Oh, perfect. There you go. Shine a little oh, bit of light, light on there. See that? Wow. That looks great, even like that. And you, can you see even the way Kelly's moving that hair? It feels so silky. The, the hair's beautiful. It's not tuggy when you're combing it. It glides through the hair. The deep color complex uh, plays a big part in that also. When the two are mixed together, the combination is amazing, isn't it, Kelly? Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Absolutely. 
Okay, right. Now, well, let's just keep Kelly here, uh, Cara here for a few. Oh, Kelly, Cara, Cara, Kelly. We'll both stay. Th thank goodness there's a Gerard in the room, otherwise I'm getting completely confused. Let's do, um, let's do Cara's formula, yeah? Um, I will get So that everybody this. can uh, see the formula. Yes. Okay, so the first uh, ingredient was peach, yeah? Yes. So do you want to do her end glazes? Yeah, let's do let's do what you've just done. Okay. Yeah? So, so what we just did for M glaze is peach. Peach. And we did 22 grams. 22 grams, okay. And then 18 grams of pink grapefruit. Pink grapefruit. And for anybody who's using ounces, I personally love to use grams in the salon because you have a little bit more control over what you're doing with it. So you can do instead of an ounce of this or a half ounce, you can go in with 22 grams, 5 grams, 10 grams. You have a lot more control over the color that you're going to and achieve. You said 18, yeah? 18, 18, yes. 18 and then 10, yeah? 10 grams of powder. Okay, that gave us a total of 50. Total of 50. I am a huge lover of powder also, and when I had first started with the line, don't be afraid of it because when you look at it on the swatch and also knowing that the undertones of it are a pink lilac, some people get nervous that it may get some pink into their color and they may get reflections of it. It creates a beautiful, soft, cool blonde. So do not be afraid of it. Play around with it and definitely use it because it's gorgeous. So we okay. do have a question on our silver. Okay. Uh, does the silver have a level of depth that it achieves on pre-lightened hair? A level of depth. It's what you'll see. Dolly is on to answer that one. Dolly is well, answering that question. Here's what, remember, there, there is no base in it but it what will be level. what will be a level of depth is the perception of your eye what what you see as what reflects back to you what you have to remember with the specials is there's no one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's no base there's no n in it it's purely tonal so it's what is perceived now the stronger you go with the tone say like the silver if you go pure silver on certain heads of hair, depending on where it's pre-lightened to, it may appear deeper. Yes. Because it's a cooler tone. And remember, pre-lightened hair loves cold tones. Sucks it in like crazy. Okay? So, you've got to be a little careful. So, if there's almost a little yellowness in the hair, that actually could work to your advantage and it will keep the silver, because it will neutralize the yellow a little more. If it's very, very pale and you go pure silver, it will probably feel it very strong feel and it maybe appeals as it's a little darker. Okay, so I hope that answers that question. More technically, we can bring Dolly in later or she can answer that question online. And while in the salon, when you are doing a cooler toner, when you get to a certain level of lightness, when you go cool, it gives the appearance of darker, or when you get lighter, sometimes the warmth actually gives an appearance of lightness because of the warmth that's in there. Great. Okay. Hand right. into the formula for everyone. Yeah, there we go. That's the um, that's the end formula. Yeah. Yes, it is. I know that there was uh, another little formula that you added. I don't know if I've left myself enough room to do that. Okay. Uh, I think I have. You know, what Kelly, can you use silver with the intense activating emulsion? Yes. Any of our smoothies you can use with any of the three emulsions, being your light activating, your activating, or your intensive activating. Which emulsion you use depends on what you're trying to achieve with it. Okay. Do you want to give me the, the shadow? Yes. Area? Blend, glaze, end glaze, smudge root, shadow root, whatever you want to call it. I did. I'll put regrow. Perfect. Okay. These roots are for trees, right? I just want to <laughs> put, the, put what you used. Okay. okay. We did 15 <coughs> grams of the beige 813. 813. From the beige series. 15 grams. Okay. And then we did 10 grams mm -hmm. of the 8-1. Eight one. Okay. And 10 grams of the powder. Okay. And what emotions did you use? I did the light activating for both. And for anyone who's just tuning in now, hi. And I had stated earlier that the reason why I use the light activating emulsion on Kara's regrowth area was because her natural is light and it's very close to the level that I was using. So I wanted to make sure there wasn't any shifting and that she was getting just the deposit on those highlighted pieces. Okay. Okay. Excellent. 
Good. Is the love still coming in? The love is still coming we in. We need the love. We yes, love yes, the love. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So, we're feeling great? Yes. I'm feeling great, yes. <laughs> Models, are not, models are not supposed to answer, but that's all cool, that's cool. I'm answering. So, Cara is also part of the education network, so this is an exciting moment for her to be a model. So, uh, we up? thank her very much thank for uh, supporting Kelly. So, Lots of uh, love coming in. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to let uh, Kelly go off. She's got a few more minutes, uh, Cara, Cara, sorry, to... Uh, one of the Ks. Yeah, one of the Ks, I'm getting so confused. <laughs> to process, then we'll have that removed, and we're going to uh, have one panel blow dried so that you can uh, see the finished result. Okay, all right. So let's, um, well hang on one second and then we'll let you, we'll let you head off, okay? Just in case you missed the formula, here okay. it is. Okay, excellent, thank you. Thanks, you for that. All right, because you know, the, I know that uh, the stylists, you know, you love, you love the formulas, so that's really cool. And uh, we want to make sure that we share all the information with you, what we can fit in in this time within the, the kind of hour that we're doing. Kelly did a, an awesome job, thank you. And uh, we're gonna ask uh, uh, Cara now just to step away and we'll do a little transition. We're gonna bring our other beautiful model. Uh, to, we're gonna ask her to step forward, okay? And just in case we didn't have any more confusion in the house, we have another Cara. Hello, Carolyn. Hello. Or Carolyn Benson. Yes. And Believe it or not, Cara is actually part of uh, the Z1 Concept North American education team also. So yes, big shout is. out to Cara, she's also uh, supporting Kelly. Yes, she's um, a very talented stylist who works with me at my salon also. Yeah, and, and, she, and, she, actually, and she actually writes children's books as yes, well. Yes, she does. Oh, thank she you does. Yes. Very talented <laughs> young lady, uh, we're very proud of her. So uh, what, what, what we did with uh, this car is we everything was pre-done, pre-prepared, but what's gonna happen now is Kelly's going to break it all down step by step, yes. and then we'll do the formula, and then hopefully within that time we'll we'll have the other uh, car back and we'll show you that panel. But remember, check back into Milkshake North America after the Facebook Live and you'll see the finished pictures also. Yes. Okay. So awesome. over to you, Kelly. It's all yours. Thank you. We went in with the same technique on this Kara as the other Kara. We went in with a full head of baby lights and I also did the back to back in the front for more of that light illumination and money piece in the front. However, for the lightener from the Decologic, we ended up doing the level nine instead because Kara, I'll have you look down a little bit, as you can see, is a natural level five. And anyone who is not familiar with our level nine can lift up to nine levels. This is a really great lightener to use on this. However, if you are using it, don't get discouraged with it. It's really important to know how the lightener actually works and it actually lifts slower than the blue lightning powder, which lifts faster. So keep that in mind when you're using it too. It will get you to where you wanna go, which just might take a little bit longer, okay? okay. So Kelly, you're getting a lot of love from Spain. Oh, Whoa, hey. Espanol. <laughs> hey, hang on, I know what to say in Spanish. Cerveza, cerveza, that's about the only word I know. Okay, so what was the uh, emotion strength with the level nine? Can you again share? Yes, of course. When I do a technique like this, Kara does have shorter hair, however, she has a lot of it. So I like to start with a lower emulsion and work my way up as I go uh -huh. to avoid over processing because with our blondes, they like to stay nice and healthy, right? We started with a 20 volume emulsion and we progressed into a 30 volume emulsion. So 20 volume, would we say, or underneath, maybe? Yes. Underneath. Okay, keep going. Okay. So okay. we did not go in with a blend glaze on Kara because you have to think about what your client wants. And balayage and the melted and soft regrowth isn't for everybody. Some of our clients still do like their highlights. So it's good to keep that in mind as well, that it's not always about what we love, it's about what they love. So for her toner, her glaze, we decided to go in with equal parts of powder and pearl. And then we also did four grams of the Smoothies Pastels Lavender. Okay, so pearl. Did 15 and 15. Okay, powder and lavender, yeah? Yes, since the light's over here. So that was uh, 15 grams. Mm -hmm. 15 grams and four. Four. Yes. Four grams. And did you say light activating emulsion? Or? We did do light activating emulsion because okay. with Kara's hair, she is a little bit more fine. 
and it tends to shift. All right, beautiful. So it's really important not only to know the level of your client's hair, but also when you get comfortable enough to know how their hair is going to react with what you're doing. Right. Wow, well, Kelly, they want you to come visit them in Spain so oh, they can go to their hair. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> we have a big chain on her ankle. She's not yeah. going to speak without me and Gerard. Uh, so, uh, how long did you process the, uh, the end color, you know, your end glaze? Normally, I do like to leave my smoothies for a minimum of 15 minutes, and it's really for that beautiful shine, the conditioning aspect that you can get from it. But when it comes to using the lavender from the smoothies pastels, whether you're using lavender or silver, any additive, I do like to watch it. So I actually did this toner. It stayed for about 10 minutes and I did eyeball it. I checked on it every five minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great advice. And can I just back that up as well? Yes, of course. Think about this. When you go for something that's almost a stronger or a more what we call risky toner, sometimes when we're using tone, ash absolutely. tones, because yep. we all tend to get a little frightened of the yes. ash or the anthracite, I always use the analogy, it's like cooking risotto. For those of you that cook risotto, what do you do with a risotto? You never leave it. You stay with it because it can change in an instant. If you step away from a risotto, it sticks to the bottom of the pan. You have to keep yeah. stirring. So when you're doing a stronger toner or something with more ash, stay with it. It Absolutely. really is important. I like the fact you said you kept um, you know, eyeballing it so you're checking it with your eye. Couple questions, one by the way, uh, Cal, it's Auntie Joy, to tell you that. Oh, she's in Spain. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, Auntie Joy. Um, the other is, um, we have a question from a Maria. Do you ever mix equal parts of 20 and 30, create 25 as a progression? No. I, however, do not. Um, I like to keep it, if you feel like you need more time, you can also start off with a 10, move to a 20, and then to a 30. Just because you're using a 10 does not mean you're not going to achieve the same amount of lift. It just means you're going to get there slower and more gentle. Okay, okay. Maria, I hope we answer that. And the other one is, um, I may have missed it, but did you use tone controllers? No, I did not. So the formula that we used on Kara for her ends, we did a equal parts of powder and pearl from the smoothie specials and we added four grams of the smoothies pastels lavender and okay. the best way to achieve awesome cool tone blondes is get creative i have played around with the icy blue so, oh sorry go let ahead. me do that so here's the pearl here's the powder pearl is neutral powder has lilac and pink and then we have lavender right here so you can see with that mix it's a, you used a very small amount of lavender, four yes, grams. Four so it's a, just enough to, see, the violet in the lavender then does enough to neutralize more of the yellow. So that's how you work it creatively. Yes. And I know, Kelly, for a fact, and thank you to everybody for your questions. We love the fact you're bringing them in because recoloring hair from blonde to a certain tonality is a very big challenge, wouldn't you agree? Yes, And definitely. I think people are looking to you because you really have a very great understanding and you are willing to not experiment, but you're willing to put two or three grams of something yes, in to see absolutely. what happens. Remember, you can always do a test strand underneath. The client's not really gonna to worry too much about that. No. If you do it right at the front, it might freak her out yeah. somewhat. So, you know, but this is a very pleasing, would you say, audience, this is a very pleasing color that you would love to send out from the salon. Yes, it's Here's very two, popular right two now. Two questions for you, yeah. Kelly. Um, yes. How long did you leave her baby lights on and did she lift to a golden, golden color when using 30 volume with level nine. With level nine, she actually did not. She lifted to a very pale yellow, which was awesome for me. So the level nine really does get that extra lift for you. So she was a pale yellow. Hopefully that answers your question. And then how long did you leave the baby lights on for? The long? baby lights on for ended up being on it's a maximum of 60 minutes. However, by the time that we had finished Kara and rinsed out the back, the back had been on for a total of 50 minutes. But we started with a lower emulsion back there, so remember that too. Thank you. Thank it's you. gorgeous, she says. Oh, thank Kara you. There. You hold yes. this, please. Oh. And you hold this, please. Now, how would, how would, what would you recommend for Kara to maintain this color at home? So I do know Kara, and I know that as much as she likes the cool tone blonde, she does like it to still feel light and bright. So I would recommend more the Silver Shine Light Shampoo, as well as the Silver Shine Conditioner. Okay, that's a great combo. Yes. Why would you recommend the light as against the classic? Because the light has 50% less of the violet pigment in there that the regular Silver Shine Shampoo has, the original. 
So for someone like Carol, who really just wants to keep out that little bit of yellow and doesn't mind if there's still a little bit in there to keep that lightness and that brightness, I would recommend the light. Good, excellent. And again, that's a very good point. We wanted to bring the Silver Shine in because it's a very, very key product for Milkshake. And as uh, Kelly explained, the original Silver Shine uh, shampoo, which is, you know, er, became the number one in the world, is stronger than the Silver Shine Light, which is 50% less pigment, exactly the same formulation of shampoo, everything that's in it, the milk proteins, uh, you know, all the, all the good nourishment that it gives the hair, but it has a, a softer effect, which would work perfectly on this kind of softer. Somebody that's more icy or wants to remain like no yellow, you, you know those clients, uh, we would definitely recommend the uh, classic Silver Shine, probably with the oh, so Silver Shine Whipped Cream. Yes, because it is deceiving because it looks light. However, it does have more of the pigment in it than the Silver Shine Light Shampoo. Yeah. Kel, one question is, yes. um, oh, um, what, what did you think your benefit was to using 30 volume over using possibly a lower emulsion? Was there a benefit from that? The benefit for me was to keeping her on the same page as she lifts because the lightener can only stay on for a maximum of 60 minutes. Perfect. So let me let me just for those of you that are not so familiar with the Silver Shine uh, whipped cream, which is, comes from the same family as the classic whipped cream. We also have uh, the uh, Moisture Plus as well. I'm going to put some in a bowl so you can see. Let's just apply that, and we'll have. I'll bring it to the camera. And all Look blondes at that. should know the Silver Shine line because. It is still conditioning on the hair and it yeah. will not dry out your client's hair. Which and is it has awesome. organic berries and yes. it smells amazing. But you see how pale that is? But this actually deposits a very strong amount of violet in the hair, which would neutralize uh, really more excessive yellow. So for uh, Cara, we're not recommending as much. No, we're because it recommending, stays in and you're yeah. blow drying that in. We're recommending the Silver Shine uh, conditioner, which was the, the latest addition to the family because the demand was there. And this is a marvelous product as well. It leaves your hair feeling incredibly silky. It is, and it's nice and thick too, more like a mask texture, which is really awesome for your blondes who need that extra moisture. Let's just, there it is. There you go. There you go, look at that. Hmm. Wow. So that's the Silver Shine conditioner that we brought to the, the Milkshake family. Fantastic. Smells amazing it as does. well. Does that smell good? Everything smells mm. good. That's mm. why myself yeah, yeah. and my clients love this line. Fantastic. Okay, so. How did you give us a little tip on the styling? What, okay. what did you use? What and before products? Before we go into the styling, another real life experience is that. Sorry, to uh, Oh, it's tell fine. the whole world. Keep telling the real life experiences. We love. Those. Okay, Kara has extensions, so some of you in the salon may run into this as well. And she has a couple on this side, just so that Gerard can see them. For anyone who has colored extensions before, knows that they tend to take to that glaze more quickly. So how we did, Kara's glaze was we actually kept these out first and we toned everything else and then for those last couple of minutes we pulled them in and then as soon as her extensions matched her ends we rinsed and the good part is that we did good you couldn't even tell right <laughs> yeah really really good really good blend here's a question on average how long do you feel the smoothies glazes should sit on the hair when mixed with activation okay when I use the smoothies for anything, I like to leave it for a minimum of 15 minutes just so that your clients get that shine and that conditioning aspects from it. However, when you're doing a toner that, or a glaze that you're using silver or lavender or any of those other more pigmented shades that have more strength to them, I would say, just because there's more color in them that could shift the blonde, check it every five minutes and, and definitely go by eye. Should it be on towel dried here? or um, wet hair? It is recommended on towel dried hair. So it is recommended also to start with the deep cleansing shampoo to remove any of those free radicals from the hair and then towel dry and apply. I love this question. Is the silver shine good for those gentlemen with a few natural highlights like Coach V? <laughs> <laughs> a few natural highlights. Actually, yes, and uh, let, me, let me back that up. Uh, it's, it, it totally is. Even grayer hair like mine, occasionally because of maybe the radicals outside or whatever deposits in your hair, can start to tinge slightly yellow. I'm sure we've all had clients that have that slightly yellowness in their uh, white hair. The Silver Shine absolutely neutralizes that, makes it really, really almost, uh, when I've used it, I feel like it makes it really quite sparkly. 
Uh, I've got grey hair. I, I, I love my grey hair. I'm glad it's on my head. But what a great question. Yeah, absolutely. can be used on grey hair, white hair and blonde hair. That's really its, its big recommendation. So that was an awesome question. Thank you. Compliment to Kelly. Great blend, Kelly. Didn't even notice she had extensions. There you Thank go. You. Hey, I'll Thanks. tell you. She, yeah. So again, also blush. part of the, uh, you enjoy the blushing. Yeah. <laughs> part of the support system for any of our color range is I want to uh, recap again the color specifics right. range. Now I know earlier uh, Kelly used the uh, Pro Color Equalizer, which equalizes out the porosity, especially on uh, pre-lightened hair. But also what was used, sorry Gerard, is the uh, Powerful Protector. Now this is an absolute diamond of a product. How many times have you applied a color to somebody with like really gray hair, like mine around the hairline, and you've used maybe like a barrier, and then you wash it off? What happens? You've got two or three little neon lights right at the front. They're never at the back, are they? They're always at the front. Well, when you use the Powerful Protector, which has a glycerin base, very, very silky, if uh, you can see that in the light there. A very small amount goes a long way. You can actually apply <coughs> this into the hairline, push it right in, and it doesn't stop the color from processing. So for those of you that are unaware of this amazing product, uh, we, we just wanna tell the world about it because it is fantastic and it's so kind and very healthy on the skin because of the glycerin. It just feels fantastic. And really important that it is safe to put it into the hairline. Hair Thank because you. Because no client wants to leave where everyone knows that they just got their hair colored, right? There you go. I definitely don't. <laughs> and then the other really key product, and this is very important for all colors that we do from color specific, this is the, the, the acid color sealer. Now this gets applied when the hair's been rinsed before it's shampooed, and we'll leave it on for three, four minutes it comes out as a, as a foam, it's a liquid, but it actually comes out as a foam, you'll see that, see that? And four, maybe four or five applications is enough on the hair. The magic with this product, it has a very, very low pH, 2.8. So what it does, it has the most effect to help seal the cuticle. Now it's scientifically proven that you don't close the cuticle completely, but it really, really, shuts it as much as possible. And this is a fantastic product. It ensures that your client's color lasts longer. And I know in, in our network, am yes. I safe to say? Yes. Uh, we, all, we all love <laughs> color specific. Yes. Oh, and all clients want their, their color to last. A, a Everybody long. gets a great compliment. Great camera angle, Mr. G. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, it's cool when you have the other creative director in the house yeah. uh, filming. So, oh look, we have a little milkshake towel as well. Look at that, how marvelous. Yes. Look at that, I feel like I'm on QVC now. There we go. <laughs> so just, uh, yeah, we're just panning time till we get uh, Cara back from yes, uh, Dolly's uh, just prepping that uh, section of hair. Anything else that we need to share uh, before we, we, we let Cara go? Absolutely. Actually, Is there any other suggestions for using smoothies? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Go ahead. So many. Um, so many. Tell us. Yeah, so it really depends. With Kara, I did want to get a little bit more creative just to let you guys know that when you get creative with this line, it is amazing what you can achieve. I cannot say that enough. However, sometimes I have also used a mixture of powder, pearl, and silver. So instead of doing four grams of the lavender, you can do four grams of silver. I also don't want to give you a specific number of grams because it all depends on your client, their porosity, how their hair takes to color, the amount of warmth that's in it, etc. The beige series and the ash series are amazing. You can mix them together. And so here's your beiges, and I think yes. you did for, uh, for Cara, the other Cara. The other Cara's. So this is your beiges, which Blend is your, your, your one three. So these are levels six to nine, with the prominent tone is ash and the secondary tone is gold. So yes. it gives you, especially the nine one three, yes. very beautiful on, beautiful. on uh, gray hair, uh, gray hair, sorry, on light <laughs> hair. Even But if you want even more coolness, then you add any of the ashes in, probably nearer the higher end for the more blonde clients. Absolutely. If you're going more for that like smudge or shadow, you wanna go a little deeper. Okay. And I know that um, it was shared with me uh, from Gerard also, Gerard Caruso. He shared that they do a lot of uh, gray blending for gents using possibly a 7N and a 6.1. So what this is doing is it's taking down any warmth because sometimes when males have their hair colored, it looks okay for the first couple of washes and then it tends to go that little kind of gingery color. Do we all know what I'm saying here? 
This here, the 6.1, helps to neutralize that warmth. And it's done with the comb. You just actually comb it into the hair so that you're, you're not really applying it fully with the brush. Because a lot of the gents, even if it was myself, I don't mind if some of the gray still shines through, but it just tones it down slightly because some don't want it to be just as uh, gray. So the, the ashes are great for that, yeah? Yes, they are. And when you are doing a blonde and somebody as light as Kara, don't be afraid to add in a little bit of a level nine shade as well. So you can add in some of your 913, some of your 91, or a mixture of both in with your powder and pearl. You will still get a beautiful result and don't be afraid of it taking down that level because powder and pearl do not have a level, so you're not putting a full level nine on your hair. Yeah, that's Hope good, that good advice because you remember your specials will not dampen down a level yes. because they have no level. All they do is add or neutralize a tone for you a little more. So. Uh, I hope that's really explained it. We've got, uh, you know, one more little visual for you in a second because uh, we're going to bring uh, the, the other fabulous Cara back. So I hope that everybody understands again, this is a neutral, the pearl. The uh, powder has a lilac and pink composition. The silver has a gray and violet composition and the anthracite is gray and blue. So it's very, very good for creating a smoky root, but be careful, uh, I've said this earlier, on blonde, because it will go slightly green, because it has a strong blue tone to knock out any excess warmth. So let's hope that the specials have uh, really helped everybody. Yes. Uh, Kelly, I think you've if, done it. If you use a 9.1 and mix in specials, it shouldn't turn green or blue, should it? Uh, well, I would say a 9.1, if you're putting it on a pale blonde, You've still got to be a little careful because it could turn a little flat. Treat it as if you were adding silver from the specials into it and watch it because of the base that's in it. And as we all know, yellow and blue makes green. green. So do yeah. be careful with it and watch it. However, in small doses, it can be used like a silver would be and just keep an eye on it. Almost, almost really, the, just think about that with that mixture with the pearl, the powder, and you used the lavender, but you only used four grams of lavender. I did. So maybe if you used four grams of 9.1, that would probably give it enough to stain it down, but not turn it too much. So I, I, I think that's, that's really the message that uh, Kelly's giving her like inside tips because she's very, very comfortable with the Smoothies line. And when you check out her uh, Instagram handle, remember Every Main Matters, you're going to see some incredible uh, results that she's got going on yes, there. Absolutely. And when I first started, we did not have the Ash series or the pastel, so you guys are so lucky that you right. have it now. Absolutely. <laughs> and you used to achieve amazing colors before, yes, but before. now there's no now stopping it's even better. you. Yes. All right, so we've got a few more minutes, so let's. Um, Cara, Cara Lynn, thank, thank you, you so you. much. I think she looked absolutely yeah. fabulous, yes? Bye. Come on, people, show some love. To the mummy here, there she is. Okay, awesome. Let's all say hello to Maurizio. Oh, Maurizio. Oh, hey, we love Maurizio. We do, he's amazing. Maurizio. He's sending ciao. love back. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in she comes. Wow, look hello. at this. Whoa. Hello. All right, Kelly, now let me bring this light over a little more. Awesome. There you go, back. Wow. Okay, so we Kelly, wanted... explain again what okay. did. We wanted to use the smoothies pastels and with the powder to create a warmer peach pinky champagne like tone more of an iridescent reflection than the actual full peach color or full pink color the mixture that we did was 22 grams of the smoothies pastels peach and then we did 18 grams of the smoothies pastels pink grapefruit as well as 10 grams of powder from the smoothie specials and the light activating emulsion and here it is nothing but loves and hearts oh and kisses. thank you there we go. stunning spectacular gorgeous wow love it oh you're talking about me that's <laughs> no. fabulous thank only you only about the color <laughs> it's nice to see warm and cool because like i had said before not every client can pull off, I hate to say that, but not every client can pull off with their skin tone, that cool blonde that everyone now wants to achieve that's on trend right now. So it's really nice and refreshing to also be able to create a warmer tone and a warmer blonde. That's meant to be wow. warm. Great compliment from Mr. Nicholas French. Whoa. Oh, that's in the house. Wow. Oh, thank wow. you. So Kelly, again, can I uh, compliment the shine? Yes, absolutely. I mean, who doesn't love shiny, healthy, happy hair? And Kara does have a finer texture of hair, and we did 
put it through a little bit of, Turn. yes, of course. Just to watch your eyes, okay. so it gets a little more, there you go. Perfect. We did put it through a couple of steps Beautiful. with lightening it. So the smoothies gives impeccable shine. It really is amazing. And it is so hard to achieve shine with a blonde, but it is not when you use smoothies. You get amazing shine from Milkshake and the condition is amazing. It feels like she got a deep conditioning treatment. What skin tone do you recommend to look for for this tone? Excuse me? Uh, the question is what skin tone do you recommend to look for for this tone? It, all do it depends on certain factors. So you need to look at their natural color as well as their eye color and their skin tone. So if you have the warmth overshadowing the cool, so if their skin tone and their eyes are a warmer shade, then it's recommended to go with warmth in their hair as well to best complement them. So keep in mind those factors as well. And that came from the incredibly smart Gian Franco from Italy. So from the master himself. I just repeated it. <laughs> Again, I just, I just need to do this because it looks amazing. I always have a comb. Yes. Love that. And then I would like to show a little trick that was given to me by a, by a master. See if you do that, you pull it over the back of your hand. It just looks amazing with the shine. See the shine line? Incredible. Fantastic job, Kelly. Thank you, and I hope you all love it. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cara loves it. That's, yeah. that's, that's wonderful. And so, it's all about uh, keeping our uh, clients happy, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so let's um, let's have a let's have a quick recap before we close out, Kelly. Done an amazing job. Yeah, come into the come into the center here. There we are. Look, yeah, <laughs> one together. So let's hope that uh, we've uh, given some strong information with uh, smoothies, uh, ammonia-free, semi-permanent. Now remember. In Europe, because we're an Italian company, we, we use the term semi-permanent or semi-permanent. Please don't get confused. That's the same as what you would know in the North American market as a demi. So it's the same. Okay, so let's clear that up. Yes. Uh, but, you know, it's really, really important that we get people to fall in love with this line of color as Kelly does. I'm sure Gerard's saying there's lots of love coming to us. Thank you so much for that because we just want to give that love back to each of you out there because I know that you can tell the passion that come, that's emanating out of uh, Kelly and her hands and her arms, so it's fantastic. So you step and into the line. And it shows in your program. work as well. So your yeah. passion and your love for not only the line, but also just for doing hair in general, definitely shows through your work. Okay, so Cara, can you step in also? We have to have you back in, you stand beside. Kelly there. My beautiful Charlie's models. Angels over now, here. Now I'm going to step out of the way for the moment because and look you're at Charlie, you can't leave. Look at, look at the look at the look at the three different color combos that you've got going on here. Yes, and I am a smoothies girl. Not as well. too shabby. Let me do this. There you go. Look at that. So you've got that peachy blonde. Yes. You've got that cooler blonde, and then you've got more of that sensual brunette with a few little essences of light on the on the edge. So she's still. Sensual, I like that. Sensual, yeah. <laughs> Fits into that, that blonde family. So, uh, wow, wow. I think, I believe that was a result. Uh, very, very proud of Kelly Lee Thank from you. Massachusetts. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. I was so excited to be here today, and I hope that you all got something out of this and learned something and feel a little bit more comfortable to go and play around a little bit more and get creative with these movies. Yeah, we always say, take yourself where you believe you can go you may be amazed at what you discover when you get there. So again, to Kelly, thank you to Cara Lynn, thank you to Cara Lee, I got it right, yeah. Yeah. Kelly Lee, Cara Lee, Carolyn. Carolyn Benson, <laughs> and Brian Grieve, but also thank you to Dolly for supporting, she yes. managed to get this hair prepped for us, and thank you also to my dear colleague, Gerard Caruso, remember, watch out, next month, uh, it's yep, color. it's going to be Gerard <laughs> and Tammy Cox, our color ambassador. The color like she ambassador. Said, Happy coloring. And they're going to be focusing on all the virtues and the benefits of milkshake conditioning direct color. Twenty colors to choose from. Wow, they're going to have some fun. And I know that Tammy is already excited, but yes. she's got a hard act to follow with this young lady she here. She's a direct so, color uh, queen. She will be Oh, uh, well, <laughs> no, but you're setting it up. You're setting the platform up. So watch social media. We'll be posting that out now that we've completed this Facebook. The next Facebook with Gerard and Tammy Cox will be uh, coming out for your attention. So you can tune in 
uh, in April next month. Okay, yes. so. Uh, and also stay tuned because we will be styling up Kara Lee and taking some after photos and <laughs> having a fun little photo shoot. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. Sure, Thank great, you. great shout out. We'll have this complete. We'll put it on uh, Milkshake North America with the still pictures so you can see the, the finished look. I'm sure that uh, Kelly will style it. Thank you to Dolly for making it nice and smooth. I think it really shows the color off. Been an absolute joy. What, what, a, what a divine vision this is if I step out of the way, of course. <laughs> and <laughs> but, Kelly, just be proud because it's from your fiance, my beautiful fiance. Aww. Proud of you, sweetheart. Aww. Perfect way to end it. Okay, well, yeah, we can't top that. So thank can't you everybody it. for tuning thank in. You. We'll Thanks see you next you. month. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.